Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Where today, today we are doing something different. So, what are we gonna? We're gonna be doing a tutorial video on how to make a three by three piston door. Now you're probably like, where did this come from? Well, so one day I was fiddling around with redstone. I was like, you know, would it be cool if I could make my own three by three piston door with my own design? But then I was like, well, I made it. It, it worked, but it was really big, and it's, like, hard to make and stuff, and yeah. And I've done many more designs until I finally came up with my last and final design. This design is really small. Well, it's definitely not the smallest, but it's probably the best I can do. So, yeah. So let's see how it works. So you flick the lever. It's pretty fast, as you can see. And then when you walk through, you can close yourself and then find all your diamonds. So yeah, here we go. We got 27 of them. So yeah, we can go back out. And then, yeah, close it back up again. And the redstone isn't that bad. Now it is, is is smaller than other designs but this is probably the best i can get now there's only that this much redstone underground so yeah that's pretty much it you will need three observers 10 pistons five redstone torches five repeaters 19 redstone dust two levers and 64 blocks of your choice all right to start off you'll need to go one two three and dig down one well just just one and put two pistons just like that you'll need to put an observer facing up like that you will need to put an observer facing this way like that you will need an iron block there and a piston facing that way. Next, you will need to put an observer facing this way, an iron block or a block of your choice there. And then now you can hook up the redstone, add a repeater there on three ticks. And now you can place these two blocks here, uh, dig down and place a repeater here on four ticks and redstone dust there and now you are done with the the two middle blocks so if we just power this as you can see it's working just fine all right so next you can place your platform in place a lever there and then you can put, start putting in your pistons. So go three up like that. And two out. And then three up like that. And those are your pistons. You can place your blocks on there. Now I'm gonna extend our area. Now let's hook up this lever. This lever, all that you need is to place this here, and then a repeater there, and then a redstone there. Now we're gonna extend this. Now we could do the redstone for it. So pretty much you just want to alternate like this and then put a block there. Place a redstone torch here, 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 redstone dust here, here and here and there. Then place a block with a repeater going into it like that. 
then a block going up and then up again I think yes and then place a piston with a block on its face and then blocks like that place a repeater going out of it and then place redstone just like that next place a block here and then a redstone there a torch there and then block here with redstone and then a torch there and then this is going to pop out so that all that you have to do is just put it back and then should be good to go you can flick your lever and it should work just fine if you follow the tutorial correctly now you can pause the video if you need to you could pause and go back if you need to so yeah i hope this worked for you and that this rest in Another thing to point out is that if this is activated and this is going to be locked, you can't use that. And then like same for the opposite. If that is activated, this isn't going to work either. So yeah, just to keep that in mind if, if you do that. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.